Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding market analysis part 1 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called users with three different columns, user ID, join date and favorite brand. User ID is the primary key of this table, this, this table has info of the users of an online shopping website where users can sell and buy items. Okay. We are also given a second table called orders with five different columns, order ID, order date, item ID, buyer ID and seller ID. Order ID is the primary key of this table, item ID is a foreign key to the items table, so basically there is a third table as well. Buyer ID and seller ID are foreign keys to the users table, right? So buyer ID and seller ID are foreign keys to the users table, right? It's basically to the user ID. They are referencing to the user ID column of the users table. Okay. There are also a third table called items with two different columns, item ID and item brand, item ID being the primary key of this table. We are asked to write a SQL query to find for each user the join date and the number of orders they made as a buyer in 2019. So they made as a buyer, how many times they ordered, right, as a buyer. The order of the result doesn't matter. Let's go through this example. So this is the users table, four different users. This is the orders table and this is the items table, right. So what we need to do is, so as a buyer, you know, uh, user ID one. So basically buyer ID is one means uh, this person with user ID one bought and and who sold it the person with user ID two, right? User ID is this one. Okay. So the first thing that we can do is we can join these two tables using the user ID column and the buyer ID column of the orders table, right? So remember the question said buyer ID as well as seller ID are the foreign keys of users table. So when we, you know, join this users table with a uh, user ID column on buyer ID column, right? So basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to see, okay, when were these different users act as, acting as a buyer? right so the first thing we should do is from this table called users alias as you we can left to join right the orders table alias as o on u dot user id is equal to o dot buyer id right so once we have this, so basically how will this work? So user ID one, it will go to orders table and see, okay, so there is first match. So this row will have, you know, this information, then there will be a second match. So this user ID will have two rows for two. It will have two rows for three and four. It will have one and one rows, right? So whenever a user act as a, as a buyer, right? So it will have all those rows. Now, once we have this, we need to find that in 2019, how many times these users acted as a buyer, right? So that is, once we have this, if we group by the user ID, right, and try to find out that for each of the user ID, what is the number of times they acted as a buyer in 2019, right? So group by u dot user id right so you we can group by user id and then return u dot user id and then we need to only count the order date when the year is in 2019 right so when year is equal to 2019 so we are going to apply the same case when statement as we did in our just previous video right so what we do is if case when right so case when the year in order date column is in which table orders table right so o dot order date is equal to 2019 then you return one else you return zero right so we grouped by the user id right so after performing this join it will have you know two rows this this row with this data right and this row with this data right this entire data because there are two matches right buyer id one one right 
So now what will happen? So for first row, it will find out that yes, year of order date is indeed equal to 2019. So it will return one. And for this row, it will return zero. And once you sum this, right? So if you perform a sum, right? And since we started a case win statement, we need to end it as well. And then we perform a sum, right? So basically what this is going to do for user ID one, it will return one and zero. So one plus zero is one, right? So and this is basically what the count when the user ID acted as a buyer in 2019, right? And what is the alias of the column? So orders in 2019, right? So as orders in 2019. Right. Let me go ahead and run this. You know, obviously this is going to give a wrong answer because it is not complete because we still need to add this join date. But let's see if we are getting the correct values for buyer ID and the orders in 2019 column. Right. Okay. So if you see for one user ID one, we are getting the orders one for two, two, for three, we are getting zero for four, we are getting zero. And it is exactly the same thing, right? So now we have this information. The only thing we need to do is we need to get the join date column, right? So we can save this as a common table expression, right? And this common table expression has two different columns, user ID as well as the orders in 2019. Now from this common table expression alias SC, let's join the users table alias as you on C dot user ID. User ID is the column of common table expression and users table also has a user ID column. So U dot user ID and then what we need to keep is we need to keep three columns right the user id column which should be aliased as buyer id then the join date column and then the orders in 2019 column so return the user id column right and we can keep user id from both but let's keep it from the common table expression because that is why we calculated common table expressions so c dot user id and we need to alias it as buyer id right then the join date join date is in users table so u dot join date and then the orders in 2019 column so it is in common table expression so or c dot orders in 2019 okay so this looks good we don't need to order by any column so let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, seems kind of tricky, but like if you follow the logic that yes, for each of the users, we first calculate, you know, the count when they acted as a buyer in 2019. And how do we get the 2019 thing? We are using case when statements returning ones and zeros and calculating the sum and if you remember from the very previous video we can use sum to basically do a count and we can use this logic of returning ones and zeros right so once we have that we have for each user id the number of times they acted as a buyer in 2019 and then we use the users table to join it so that we can get the joined it right let me know if you can think of a better or a more efficient solution than this. Comment down below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.